All right. So when you want to invest in crypto, you should be able to make up your mind to take the risk. And majorly, there are two um, ways I actually, two basic ways that I ask, um, actually encourage people to get into crypto. You know, one is the long term. And then the second one is the short term. So if you want to come into crypto, there are two things you need to have in mind. Do you want to come in to invest on the long-term run or you want to come in to invest on the short-term run? Because if you are looking at the long-term investment aspect of it, it means that whatever money you are going to put into cryptocurrency today, you should have it at the back of your mind that before you can even say, okay, you made profit or not, that investment might have been there for five years and above. That is what is regarded as a long-term investment. Your investment must be on that platform for five years and above. That is the only way you will consider investment a long-term on, or in, and then you will now know whether it is profitable or not. But some of us who come in here, we don't understand anything. And because we heard that a lot of persons have been billionaires, they have made millions in crypto, we just want to follow suit and we want to put in 10,000 today and be by tomorrow we want the 10,000 to turn to $100,000. It doesn't work that way. So you need to have um, made up your mind or if you haven't already, at the end of this meeting, you should be able to make up your mind and decide what you want to start doing in the crypto space. Do you want to follow it the long-term means or you want to follow it the short-term means? That way you should be able to know, you know where you stand. Long-term meaning that if I begin, if I come in here, for instance, let me bring my drawing to. Um, I don't know what is happening this evening. The market is just pushing as if somebody is pursuing it. After hitting 38k. So, for instance, if I want to come in here and buy um, this BitGet token, BGB token, and the token has been doing, <laughs> it has been doing well lately. Uh, actually, when I made, I first made a video about this video, it was around um, 0.0088 or thereabout. Yeah, that was what it was trading. And, you know, somebody told me that um, he got 5,000 of this BGB token, 5,000 of this BGB token. And that caused that person roughly about $2,000 or thereabout. That $2,000 today is worth um, a, lot of, a lot of money for the person. And then if this person is able to wait patiently and this coin goes to a dollar or even $2 or $3 or $5, then the person will be able to share his testimony, let's say in two, three years from now, and somebody will say, oh, I would have gotten there. But yet, this is somebody, a lot of persons saw that video when this coin was this amount. But because it was like less than a dollar, it didn't make any sense to anybody. But when somebody patiently hold this, remember Ethereum as at 2017 that they're seeing here, it was sometime around $200, $300 as at 2017. BTC as at 2017, it was, it was trading around, you know, two, $2,000 or thereabout. So if you want to come into this space, first thing you need to know is, do you want to go the long-term way or you want to go the short-term way? The long term is that you can invest in coins like this, in tokens like this. Uh, right now that um, Ethereum is at $2,000. Remember Ethereum was sometime $4,000, right? Um, that was like a few months ago. It was around $4,000. So it has even dropped by over 50, 60% now. So you can actually buy this coin, hold them, and when it goes up, you sell. So when you're buying and holding, or you buy, you stake, you buy, whatever you want to do with it. The other day I, show, I showed us here um, via the video how you can actually buy, instead of just buying your crypto and holding, you can buy and stake your crypto. So um, that way you say, okay, I have put in $1,000. I don't want to look at it so that I don't have, you don't have blood, uh, high blood pressure actually, because assuming you bought Bitcoin or you bought any asset when Bitcoin was $66,000, for instance, um, $68,000, you'll be losing right now. Your investment would have dropped by over 60, 70% if you have bought then. But if you have bought and you say, okay, I will only look at this, no matter what happened, I will only know that this will appreciate after, um, let's say two years, three years from now, that is when I will know whether this investment has appreciated or not. 
you won't be concerned with whether it is going down or it is going up. That is, I said, first have it at the back of your mind. Do you want to go the long term means or the short term means? Then, if you want to go short term, the The truth is, if you want to go short term, you must learn how to trade. If you want to go short term, you must learn how to trade. Either how to trade spot, you know, when it comes to crypto trading, there are different types of trading. Majorly, um, the kind of trading you can trade that to make money is you can do spot trading. Spot trading meaning that right now BTC is 60, um, 36,000. I want to buy when it goes to 38, I sell and I make profit, which is you know, the ideology behind every business. You go to the market, you buy things low, and you come back with the aim of selling them at a higher price and making profit. So basically, that is what spot is. You buy this. Um, if I have $10,000 and I exchange this for BTC, I'll be giving BTC what $10,000. One thing I just have to take note is, as at when I bought the, the BTC, if I bought at 37, for instance, I want to sell at 38 or 40 to be able to make profit. So when you buy then you will now wait when it goes up you sell and you make profit then you rings and repeat that process again and it keeps giving you the money another means of trading which is faster and you can actually grow a little amount of money to a very significant amount of money is trading derivatives and right now the what you are seeing on my screen right now is the big get exchange actually i'm using the big get exchange and all of these that i'm mentioning can be done here you can trade spot as you can see down here you can trade derivatives features as you can see down here. So the other means of trading is derivatives. Under derivatives, that is where we have features, we have perpetual swap, we you know we have option and other types of trading. But majorly, what I want you to focus on is on trading perpetual swap. The difference between features and perpetual swap is that features has expiring date, perpetual swap don't have expiring date. So you can come in here, for instance, if you want to trade with a buy get uh, buy. If you want to trade, for instance, with BitGet, if I come in here to where it says features and I click on it, all I just need to do is come up here where it says BTC USDT at the top, at the top left-hand side. If I come in here, BTC USDT, I can come in here and choose any token I want to trade. So when I choose any coin I want to trade, here you will see when I click on the search, I can search by USDT contract or I'll search by coin contract. So when you are trading features, you actually have where it says USDT, and then you have the coin um, um, and, and so on. In most cases, in some other exchange, you will see like inverse, you know, perpetual and so on. But here, when it is USDT, it means that you need to have USDT in your account to be able to trade that particular pair. When it is a BTC uh, coin, it means that you need to have either BTC, Ethereum, or any other coin that is supported by that exchange in order to trade that. So if I click on the coin here, you see that I can trade BTC USD, I can trade Ethereum USD, I can trade XRP USD, EOS USD. So these are the coins that are supported on the coin um, features with the BitGet exchange. And then if I come in here to the USDT, you see that these are all the pairs of currencies I can trade. So you, the USDT is always having the highest pair actually. So I can come in here, select BTC, USDT. And then the next thing, because it is features, you need to um, choose the number of leverage you are trading with. And then on the BitGet exchange, you will see here, here I have for the BTC, USDT, I have mine set to 10X for the short, the, the um, Green one here is actually for short and uh, for long. And then the red is actually for short, as you can see down here. So buy long or sell short. So you can click on that to set your leverage. Leverage is you like trading. If I have $10, $10 for instance, um, $100, for instance, and I'm trading with 10x leverage, once I click on this 10x, you see here, this pops up on the BitGet exchange. If I'm trading with um, 10x leverage and I have $100, it means that I'm trading like with 10 times that amount of money. That is why features is good, but always remember that in as much as it is good to make you money, if you don't understand how the space work, you can equally lose your money um, within a twinkle of an eye. So you can equally lose your money. So you can trade because it's BTC uh, with the uh, um, BitGet exchange, 
I can trade from 1x leverage to 125x leverage. So you can go ahead and just select your leverage either for the long or for the short. Select your leverage and once you are done, you click on confirm to confirm that. And that is it. And on top of the BTC, USDT, you have the margins. You can set your margin either from cross to isolated. Isolated means if I risk $3 per trade, it is only that $3 I will lose. Why cross? If I, I have 10,000 on my account and I go ahead and carry out a trade, if for any reason I am liquidated, it is that uh, the whole account I will lose. If I have $10,000, I will lose my $10,000. That is just the basic difference between cross and isolated. As a beginner, always trade with isolated. Now, somebody will ask, why is it that you might have heard whenever Bitcoin drops, you hear, you hear that billions of dollars are being liquidated billions not even million billions of dollars are being liquidated each time there is you know a very fast a sharp move in the market you hear that billions of dollars are being liquidated and somebody is asking why are people being liquidated even for beginners not just professionals who trade this kind of uh, who trade this way beginners as well the fear of losing out because a lot of persons are, you know, afraid that when they put stop loss, the trade will eventually hit their stop loss. They don't put stop loss. As you can see, this is how the chart of, you know, this is how any crypto you are trading, this is how it looks. So a lot of persons will be afraid that, oh, if I put stop loss here, there is every tendency that this market will come back and hit my stop loss. So they don't put stop loss. Instead of putting stop loss, they prefer risking the whole of the account than putting stop loss. And that is, the stupidest thing you can ever do. It has happened to me not once, not twice, and it will happen to you. It has happened even to professionals who trade with you know, millions of dollars in the account. They don't put stop loss, and before they know it, Bitcoin will just surprise them and start dropping like as if you know they, they have opened a dam somewhere and then water is flowing to an unknown direction. So the thing will just drop, and before you know it, account is liquidated. So instead of risking $1,000, you know, $100 on your stop loss by putting stop loss, you just let it open. That way people are being, you know, liquidated. One good thing on the BitGet exchange here is that you can actually copy a trader. After the features, the next one is that we'll have um, copy trade here. If I click on it, if you don't know how to trade features, you don't know anything about features, you need to copy a trader. And when you come here, you see traders with the statistics here. Um, you know, with, with what you're seeing here, for instance, what BitGet is letting you know is that this person's win rate for the past three weeks has been 100%. And, you know, the past three weeks, this person has been able to make this amount of money in profit. And, you know, the return on investment has been about 100 plus 168%. So, and right now, uh, if you want to copy this trader, you can no longer copy this trader because uh, his or her trading room is filled up. That is why you see full. So you can't copy um, this, um, this trader right now. Uh, the trader is actually very good um, to be able to be getting this result and having his house filled up and so on. And do people lose money here? Yes, they equally lose money. As you can see, the next trader here, uh, for the past three weeks, he has lost about uh, 102%. And uh, his win rate is equally 100%, but this is um, the percentage he has lost. And this is always calculated based on the recent you know, transaction. Let's say the person just lose money now, and it is a, if the, even if that person has made up to 50%, when you just lose money now, um, there is a way the system calculates that, and you see that they will not soak in the past three weeks. It could be just one trade. This person carried that in the past three weeks, so, you know, and, and so on. So you see all of these statistics there. So if you don't know how to trade features, you can copy a trader here, not just copy a trader here, for those who want to, you know, who see, who see a feature in cryptocurrency and want to go further. Today, I'm here stressing myself, saying learn crypto, learn crypto. I'll be surprised at the end of the day, tomorrow, a lot of you who are still, who tell me that you are beginners, you are this, you are that, you will even be doing better than I'm doing right now in trading crypto and so on, please um, do me a favor and mute yourself, okay? I will ask you to unmute yourself um, at the end of this presentation. Just do me a favor and mute yourself so that I will not be distracted. So I, I had a step-by-step -step guide, um, video guide on how to copy a trader, which I will, you know, I will make available for all of you to be able to copy traders. 
But one few tips I needed to get, if you want to go this way, few tips I needed to get to be successful here is that some of you think because you are going to copy a trader, you can just come in and try the $50 with $100 and you just go and sleep and tomorrow you come in and you get a, you know, a lot of results. I tried it, it worked for me, but it doesn't mean that it will work for you. If you want to succeed in copying a trader, some of these traders, so some of these traders you see here are trading with hundreds and thousands of dollars on their account. So they can open a position and leave that position to run for seven days. You know, that is, this is one, one of the things some of us miss out. Um, the fact that you are copying a trader with $50 is it, not as if it won't go. It will actually go. You will make profit. I've actually copied a trader with just a dollar and it made me additional $1. Um, so in most cases, you, it will work out very well. But it doesn't work out every time because there must be a time in the market where before you realize it, the market is actually fast dropping that, than you expect. And these traders, some of them, the, where they put their stop loss may not be what your $100 account will carry. And if you don't put stop loss, it means that if you are risking $10 per trade, there is every tendency that that copy trade will be liquidated somewhere and you'll lose that $10. So if you want to succeed with Bybit copying a trader on the Bybit copy trading platform, you don't come in here and start, it's not as if you cannot start with $100. Yes, you can start with $100, but when you start with $100, always monitor your trade. Whenever the trade is in profit, whenever you make $1, $2, go ahead and cancel the trade from your own end. Don't wait for the, for the trader you're copying to close the trade. Because in most cases, that trader will say, oh, I've not made enough percentage, I'll wait for it to go up. And before you know it, it will reverse and it will come down more than what it was, uh, more than the plus you had before. And before you know it, your own trade will be closed. Why the person you are copying, the trade will still be running because the person is trading with a higher amount. So if you really want, what I've experimented so far is that if you must make money in this space, you must have enough money on your account to be able to copy a trader. And always make sure that on your futures account here, if you want to copy a trader that is trading BTC, if you want to copy a trader that is trading um, Ethereum, make sure that you come in here, select, right now I select BTC, I have 10X on my, you know, um, setup on my account. If I want Ethereum, I can go ahead and select, let's say I want to copy somebody that is trading Ethereum. Ethereum is 20X. I'm comfortable with that. If I don't want, I can just go, go here, change it to 10X. Make sure that you are using a very low leverage here. Yeah? Low leverage means that you're making low profit. Higher leverage means that you're making higher profit, but you don't want to risk the whole of your account. You don't want to risk the whole of your account in you know, copying um, a trader. So make sure, uh, if you want to really make profit from here, yeah, if you, your, the difference will be clear if you are trying this with anything from $1,000 and above. If you have $1,000 in your account, you are sure of copying one or two trader and making profit from it. I've shared with you here traders that have been making me profit. And you know, those who have tried it out have equally shared some traders that they followed that were good and so on. So there are a lot of things you can do here, but if you must try with $50, $100, always monitor your trade. But if you want your trade to last for more than you know, two, three days or one week as the trader you are copying intends to do, then you must have enough funds in your account. That way, whenever the profit comes, it is you who is making the money actually. It is you that the profit is coming to. So basically, if you must make money copying a trader on BitGet, have enough funds on your account to be able to hold a particular position for you know, a certain number of time. So you can come in here, trade yourself, or just copy a trader, and you are good to go. So BitGet actually gives you a demo, some funds on your demo account that you can trade with. You see that I have um, Ethereum here for demo. I have about uh, 3,000 USDT for my demo account. You see where it says USDT demo. So here, USDT demo. So you see, you have some coins here, you know, BTC and the rest for your demo account. You can be trading, you know, um, practicing with this demo account, see how things work out for you. And once you are satisfied with some of this demo trading, you go ahead and put it into practice by funding your account and trying it out. So it's not a do or die affair thing that you must start immediately. Try to practice what you have learned. If you are learning anything, try to practice it with a demo account. And before you know it, you're putting some money 
and you start trading and you are good to go. So I hope um, this actually gives us, you know, a better view into the crypto space. There are a lot of things you can do in the crypto space actually. And what I expect is when we come for meetings like this, um, we get different questions from different persons and that will probably guide me to say, okay, if you want to go into NFTs, um, this is what you do. If it is metaverse, this is what you need. If it is trading, this is what you need, you know, things like that. There are a lot of things you can do in this space. Any question, just, you can now unmute yourself, make your contributions. <laughs> if there's anything you want to say that I didn't mention here, go ahead, unmute yourself and ask your questions. Yeah, go ahead. Good evening. I just, want, I just want to ask about the name of the platform you are talking about, uh, because I think it is. Hello? Um, yes, I'm hearing you. The one you are sharing with us on the screen is what I'm talking about. Okay, this one is called BitGet. It's BitGet. Okay. Yeah, BitGet okay. Exchange. If you don't have an account with it, I will you know, leave a link to sign up for an account either on the Telegram or on the on the, group. On the WhatsApp yeah. group. Yeah. Will, yes, I it is called Bit Bit BitGet. So you can go and sign up and start copying traders on um this is what is called this is what the app looks like on my screen here if you can see this this okay. is bitget yeah this is bitget so it's called uh, bitget I, I, after this meeting i will share a link so that you can sign off on the account if you want all right thank you very much sir. it's all right good evening my boss uh, i just want to appreciate you for putting more efforts making this meeting, especially for those of us that are new into the crypto market. So uh, my question will go straight to the BitGet platform. Uh, sir, if, if I acquire some uh, BGB now, can I stick it? How can I stick it on the platform? Because I tried to look for staking section. I couldn't find it. Is there a way to stick it if I acquire uh, it? And it? For, for now, for now, there are no colon for where you go and press a button to say stake or this. Um, but you just buy it and hold it on your wallet. You just buy this token and hold on your wallet. And um, I think what comes with this is the launch pad. Um, there is one thing BitGet is introducing of which I think is the launch pad or so. Uh, there are a lot of other benefits that come as a holder. In the future, when they do either launch pad, they do programs, the people that it benefit the most are those who are holding their own native token. You understand? But for now, there is no button where you can press to go and stick. You just hold it on your yeah. wallet, on your account. Um, but uh, other benefit that comes is that holding this coin, whenever there is a launch pool, there is you know a mining program or thereabout, because you are holding this coin, you stand the chance of earning other cryptos, other tokens. Okay for free. You could just wake up one morning and see some tokens inside your wallet. And those tokens could be worth a lot of money is because you are holding the BGB just token. Like that is, yeah. Yes, that is the benefit of holding some of these exchange tokens and the rest. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah, any, hello, Mr. Leo, good evening. Any other? Good evening, sir. Hello, Mr. Leo. Good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, good evening, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, ca ca can you hear me? I'm hearing you. Good evening, Mr. I was Mr. wondering Leo. if you can hear me. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Good evening, sir. Good evening to you, too. Good evening, sir. Yes, go ahead. Sir. Go ahead. Okay, so I want to know, is uh, Ethereum... Good on, evening. Uh, okay, can you stake Ethereum? And I want to ask if, uh, like now the Ethereum is 2,000, if one buys with 50,000 and Ethereum returns to 4,000 thereabout, approximately, what could be the profit? Like someone wants to know. If you buy with $50,000, no, sir, 50,000 error. Is it? 
Okay, if you buy Ethereum now with 50,000 Naira, you want to know what the price, what the profit will be like when it gets to 4,000, right? Right? All right. I get that question. So what I'm going to do is to share yes. another screen to be able to, um, yeah, let me share my Binance. So if I open up Binance and I go to where it says P2P trading, if I go to P2P trading, I want to buy, um, um, so here I'll come in here and search for Ethereum. We want to buy Ethereum, right? Right now, yes, you see yeah. that Ethereum is. Uh, uh -huh. so, so if I want, but normally what I do on this Binance is that I come in here to filter. If I click on filter here, I'll make sure that I click on this only show as from mission so that I will not be misled. Go ahead and click on yes. So it will now be showing ads from merchants. You see that Ethereum is trading at 1.4 million, one point, let's just say approximately 1.5 million. So if I want to buy Ethereum worth 50,000 and I click on buy, I'll go ahead and enter 50,000 Naira here. Right? Yeah. So 50,000 Ethereum right now, as at the current price now, will give you about 0 0.03 Ethereum, right? Okay. This is what it is right now. Is that 0 0.037 Ethereum? That is what you are going to get. 0 0.033 Ethereum. That is what you are going to get. Please take note of that. This is Ethereum worth 50,000 Naira. So just take note of that. And um, if I leave this screen, and I come in here to USD. This is another thing I wanted to take note of. Um, why are there no USDT are there? Okay, one USDT right now, one USDT right now is equivalent to four, $581. One USDT, sorry, 581 naira. That is what one USDT is costing. So let's yeah. say you want to sell Ethereum at uh, $4,000. Your 50,000 now worth Ethereum at 4,000. I'll come in here to my spot account. If I come in here to the Binance Exchange and I say trade, and I go ahead and select Ethereum USDT. So I will select, um, let me see, Ethereum USDT. So I'll select Ethereum USDT. Remember that the 50,000 now we bought was 0 0.0337. I want to sell at 4,000. So with the limit order, I want to sell Ethereum when it gets to $4,000, for instance. Let me just go to the buy tab and put 4,000 here. Yeah? 4,000. And then the amount of Ethereum will be zero. So that's for, that's 40,000. Okay, it's 40,000, sorry. Oh, 4,000, I don't know, like 0 0.0337, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah 3374, yes, 3374, right? So if I sell this at 4,000, then I'll be, that $50 will be worth $134. If you're the 0 0.0, 337 that you are buying right now at 50,000 sells at 4,000, it will be worth a hundred and thirty-four dollars. So if it is a hundred and thirty-four dollars, for instance, and you want to sell this hundred and forty this hundred and thirty-four USDT, if you sell that you sell, if I come in here to the P2P and I go to sell and I want to sell my USDT. So if I come in here to sell and I'm selling 134 USDT, your 134 USDT will now be worth, um, sorry, 134, not 154, 134. 78,000. Exactly. If you sell at this 580, 
even if you sell at 500, let's even assume that whenever you, it gets to 4,000, um, the price becomes 500. If I sell 500 by um, one, three, four, so your 50,000 becomes 67,000. 67,000. Exactly. So it becomes 67,000. And if you want to, let's say you want to, if this becomes your long-term investment uh, plan or so, and you hold that 0 0.003 and Ethereum gets to, uh, maybe in five years from now, Ethereum gets to $10,000, for instance, and you're selling your 0 0.0337. So it becomes when it gets to ten thousand, you now be three hundred and thirty-seven dollars. Exactly. So if you calculate three hundred and thirty-seven dollars by uh, by five hundred, three as one and sixty-eight thousand five hundred. You see, so basically that is how it will invest. To. But another thing I want you to note here is instead of investing, if this if the, if this type of investment if your plan is a long term investment and you want to invest fifty thousand today and maybe subsequently whenever money enters your hand you keep investing instead of buying a terror because what you have is just fifty thousand naira instead of buying a terror you can buy other tokens that are lesser than a terror because if you invest in a terror and bitcoin right now it will take a very long time for you to you know make that kind of profit that you should be expecting. You understand? If yeah. now what I'm trying to explain is if I invest a thousand dollars, um, fifty thousand naira in Ethereum right now, it means that in five years from now, that is if Ethereum gets to uh, ten thousand dollars five years from now, but if it happens this year, it is a good investment. But in five years from now, if it gets to ten thousand dollars, your fifty thousand naira will be worth um how much again? One is it one hundred or three hundred or something? Oh. That is what you do. Uh, that, which is like uh, about 150 percent uh, return or there about on your investment is it up yeah. to 150 percent uh -huh. yeah so yeah, which is. Is, uh, so that is just what it is, it is but if you invest in a token like um for instance uh, let's say because metaverse is trending and i invest in um sand what is the price of sand right now and I invest in sand. Sand is uh, $3 today. It was actually $2 I was sharing with people some days before. Um, so if I invest in sand right now, remember that uh, that 50,000 era worth of um, crypto right now will give us, how much did they even give us? Uh, okay, let me say I want to buy, I want to buy, um, USDT right now. USDT, 50,000 USDT will be, Will give us eighty-six dollars. So if I invest eighty-six USDT into sand, let's say I come in here to sand and I want to buy at this current price, and I go ahead and invest eighty-six dollars, for instance, eighty-six dollars will give me twenty-seven of this sand. If I invest eighty-six dollars, I'm going to get okay. This is eighty-four. I wanted to put eighty-six. Sorry. Eighty-six. That is what I want to invest. Which is what our fifty thousand is what. Okay, I'm going to get twenty-seven cent. Yeah, which is, is correct actually. So I'm going to be getting twenty-seven cent. If sand gets to ten dollars, if sand gets to ten dollars, two years, three years, or even before the end of this year, if sand gets to ten dollars, my twenty-seven cent will be worth. Let's say I'm selling twenty-seven cent at uh, ten dollars. It will now be worth two seventy. What if it gets to $100? So like we calculated for Ethereum five years from now, if Ethereum is $10,000, your investment will be worth worse if it's something. But if some, which I'm sure that in the future it will get to because of the way, um, you know, the metaverse is being followed up, a lot of development on that space and the rest. If this sun gets to, in five years from now, if sun gets to five, um, $100, your 50,000 era will be worth how much? $2,700, right? Yeah. $2,700. So if you not calculate, let's say whenever you want to sell it to your Naira, it becomes um, 500. Hmm? That's like 1.35 that. million. 
Exactly. So that is basically the, the, the magic to, to all of this. So when you invest in a coin that is lower, and that coin eventually appreciates in the future, it will pay you more than just um, if you still invest that 50,000 Naira into BNB, if you invest in BNB, BNB is 370 now, it will pay you more than um, what Ethereum will pay you, right? So yes, if sir. I buy BNB, for instance, let's say we got our 50,000 gives, um, gives us about 80, $87, right? And I want to buy BNB. If I come in here and search for BNB, Today that the price is 377. If I buy BNB worth $86, which is what our 50,000 is worth, it will give us 0 0.227 um, dollars. BNB actually got to over or, or close to $700. Even this month, it was 600 and something, I think. So if BNB eventually moves from um, 377 to $600, so if we move eventually to uh, uh, six hundred dollars, you see that your fifty thousand will be worth one thirty six, right? Why, yeah. in the case of Ethereum, when it gets to four thousand, you were making how much one thirty four? BNB is giving you one thirty six. What if BNB uh, maybe um, hit an all time high of seven hundred? You'll be worth one fifty eight. What if you hope enters one thousand or thereabouts? You'll be worth two seventy something. If all of a sudden it enters 2000 and, and there are, let's say you are looking at there's a long term investment five years from now, and it enters 2000, 3000, there are a lot of potentials you will get from this. And the reason why I believe that BNB will continue to show is the popularity of the Binance exchange. And then for the fact that the supply, the total supply for BNB is limited to, um, to what most of these exchange coins are doing right now. BNB has a very limited number of supply, actually. So if I go to coin market cap, let us look at what the total supply. Um, Bitcoin, we know that the total number that will be in su supply in circulation is about 21 million, of which 18 million is already in circulation. And then Ethereum and uh, BNB, I think the total supply should be, okay. Circulating supply is about 160, 65 million, right? So total supply is equally 165 million, which is lower than majority of what other exchanges are doing. Some exchanges there is 1 billion, you know, 20 million, 500 million and the rest. Um, but with BNB, it's just 165 million. And I think <laughs> it's already in circulation already. All of these 165 million that you are seeing here is already in circulation. So the more people keep using these and building projects with the Binance smart chain contract and the rest, the more it gives value to this coin. So I believe that, you know, the next rally that we're going to face in the market, it will take this coin to $1,000 or even to $2,000 and the rest. So this is another coin you should consider investing. And basically why I'm considering some of this coin with lower price is because some of you want to invest a very little amount of money. If I have somebody who wants to invest anything from let's say 20,000 upward, I cannot be recommend. You can buy some of this coin, but you, if, if you should equally invest in the other quarter, quarter of it all. And, you know, for those of us who are waiting for the next coin that will pump, next coin that will pump, I, I think I mentioned this in one of those meetings. You will see that in all of these things, even if that next coin will pump, if Bitcoin moves now upward, it affects all of them. If it moves downward, it affects all of them. So if you have money, reasonable amount of money, why would we consider some of these other coins? Because it will pay you more to invest in them that are still lower than investing in Bitcoin. But if you want to build up your portfolio on a long-term goal, if you have money, buy Bitcoin. If you have money, buy Ethereum. Not 10,000 or 50,000 Ethereum because it will take a long time for that to appreciate. You understand? So if you put in you know, a reasonable amount of money here, you are getting a, a, enough of this. Um, even if you can afford to buy 10, 20 of these, you are good to go. Why you, you know, divide your portfolio into two, for instance, if you have like 100,000, 50,000, 20,000 to invest, you divide it into two. Half of that should go with the main coin in the market. Why you split the other half with any other coin, any other, you know, altcoin that you want to invest in. 
That is basically what I have in mind. If my aim now is to invest ten dollars every month into crypto, um, ten dollars. Even if I want to use the dollar cost average, in most in most most platform, the minimum you can do is ten dollars. So if I do ten dollars for Bitcoin for Ethereum, I don't do Bitcoin because ten dollars is too small for that. If I do ten dollars for Ethereum, the other ten dollars can go for Solana. It can go for you know some other coin that I see potentials in. So basically, that is how I want you to split your. If you invest fifty thousand in this particular coin today, next time invest in the lower coin, so that if this other one doesn't appreciate faster, there's every need that this other one will appreciate faster. Um, I hope I've, I have not advanced. Um, explain this so that you don't get confused and the rest. Uh, basically, that is it. I, I hope that gives you an insight to what you should be looking at. Thank Any you other very question? much. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Any other question? Yes, excuse me, sir. How do I know which coin to, to invest in when I'm buying like a low price coin? Well, in my, in my opinion, every this top twenty that you see on Coin Market Cap, the top twenty that you see on Coin Market Cap here, the top twenty aside stable coins, aside stable coins. When I mean stable coin, tell that here you are seeing this. Um, sorry, don't scatter. So. This one you see, Tether, that is the one we call USDT. It is a stable coin. Even if Bitcoin gets to $100,000 today, if you have 10,000 of these, it is 10,000 you have on your account. Um, USDC coin is a stable coin. Even if Bitcoin gets to 1 million today and you have 5,000 of these in your account, it is that you have. So when you know the difference between stable coins, and the rest, you can invest in any other coin. You can invest in Ethereum, you can invest in Bitcoin, BNB, Cardano. So the top 20 that you see here, they are here for a reason on coin market cap. It is because of their performance in the market, the trading volumes, and a lot of things that you know follows it. That is why they are on the top 20. Remember that before now, before BNB, Binance, uh, Dogecoin was the one taking position. Was it position three, right? Dogecoin was taking this position after Bitcoin, Ethereum. The next the position three coin then was Dogecoin. Then when Binance started gaining attraction, it became, you know, it shoot up this way and so on. So right now, Dogecoin should be number nine, I think number 10. I don't even know where Dogecoin is. Dogecoin is even, yeah, number 10. So that some of these tokens you see on the first page here, SROP, I've invested in this coin since 2017. I've not seen the difference. Um, you can invest in Solana. You can do Luna, which is called Terra. You can invest in Polkadot. Um, the lot that is coming up with a dot. And um, Polygon, yes, yeah, called Matic. You can invest in Polygon. Uh, Avalanche, equally, is a coin you can invest in. So there are a lot of them out here that you can, all you just need is choose one particular project. And, um, you know, I just wanted to ask, is there a course? I, I, I'm, I'm the guy, the newbie. I just refer to myself as the newbie. Is there a course that you can not recommend that I can uh, look at and then buy or whatever to start learning the proper way? Because I don't want to guess. Yeah, we we have a course on digitalskillinginstitute.com. Um, basically, the course we have available right now is based on trading. And the type of trading here, yeah. and this um, has different videos on, you know, spot trading, P2P trading, futures trading, and yeah. So yeah, there is a course that can guide you on uh, getting started. And majority of what you see on this course is on this technical analysis aspect of it, understanding charts and technical analysis. So this is where the main thing is. Um, for those who want to trade features, actually, this is what the course actually focuses on. But we have, you know, uh, how to trade sport, how to trade P2P, and the rest, we all have that embedded into this. So yeah, you can actually buy. Um, if you are not in Nigeria, you when you go to the payment page, you have the option of paying with your card. But if you are not in Nigeria, you can pay with your crypto and you have access to the course. So yeah, there is a course for that. 
you can just go to digital or I can just copy the link and paste on, on the chat. So you can bookmark this, this, this link whenever you want, you can buy the course for that. And then the one-on-one -on -one training, um, that will cost a lot of money. If you're not in Nigeria, we do it via Zoom. And I will train you for one month and you have access to, you know, like three months mentorship. You can access anything within that three months and you get answers and so on. So that is it. Any other question? Uh, sir, concerning the, the live trading that you, you suggested the other day that the, you will let us know the day that you, you will do the live trading, something like that. Can we do that on Friday? Yeah, we can do, we can do a live trading section together on Friday. So I will let us know when um, that will be. I will just post the link to join the Zoom meeting. So that you can just equally take the trace as well. And then maybe if there's anything you don't understand, you just ask question immediately. I will clarify you on that. Okay, good. All right, so yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right, thank you so much for being here. And um, we'll see you on Friday. Do have a wonderful day or uh, a wonderful night rest, actually. Bye. Mr. Leo. Yes, sir. Uh, I won't take much of your time, just a few seconds, please. Okay. So you said something about one-on-one -on -one mentorship and one-on-one -on -one to life trading, as in if you want to train somebody, train somebody on life on trading, one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. So how much is the cost and the mentorship? It's, how much is the expense? It's $300. $300. Is it for, for one month or for the whole time? For one month. For one month. So including mm. the mentorship program, everything. No, the mentorship, the the learning process is one month. After that, you still have access to us for one month where you can actually, you know, ask any question, um, take us on anything for for that three months. The mentorship is after the one month training, you have access to three months mentorship as well. So, but within one month, within that one month, are you sure the person I uh, can be able to catch up with? <laughs> You should. <laughs> so you should. That we are not good in. You like, should. Don't you should. Slow, slow you will. You will. You will catch I'll up. Please. I'll yes. get in touch personally. I'll get in touch. Thank you, sir. All right. You're welcome. I mean, I'm also interested in that, so I don't know how to contact you for that. Um. You say you joined. Was it via Telegram or WhatsApp? WhatsApp from the YouTube channel. Uh, you can you can contact me via the WhatsApp. I will leave a message. So um, just contact me after now via WhatsApp. Okay, no worries. All right. All right, that is it this evening. So I'll see you guys um, on Friday.